Hi guys, I don't think I YouTubed my Molly experience when I first moved out to Vegas. But, um, not to like recall it for like as best that I can, like from about a month ago. So, here I go. I'm gonna retell something that happened about a month ago. So, we all had Molly. Everyone's rolling. I'm not. It took me like forever. I just have like a really big like resistance to like drugs in general. Like, just things don't do things for me not even blow nothing alcohol i have to take a bunch of it and molly was the one thing that's effective on anything so but even then it doesn't take effect like it doesn't, it doesn't hit me hard so i took the molly and everyone's rolling and when i started rolling i started rolling hard and I ended up just like laying on the bed and getting into this like meditative state and I just closed my eyes and was like just feeling like everything around me because I'm rolling and it actually just put me right into like an OBE like state is what happened so let's see I don't remember which was the first room like I want to say the first room was like this like iridescent room it reminded me of like clear butterfly wings with streaks of like green and pink and like yellow like it was just like it, it was white clear room like it was really pretty um the best way to describe it is if you look up angel aura which is like this really pretty stone i probably have it here somewhere i just want to search for i'm too lazy it's a really pretty stone if you look at uh, angel aura that's exactly what that room looked like i was walking through it was gorgeous and well not even walking i want to say i was floating and then there's this other room and there was like all these like gears and like gadgets it, it was like it kind of reminded me of something like very steampunkish actually but there was like all this like weird strange glowing lights and it made like a weird like strange like sounds and I saw like all these different like numbers and symbols like stuff that you would like see in like if you took math and none of it made sense to me because I don't understand math and it was showing me all these things and I was just like what is all this you know and it was like I think like there's like something like guiding me like there and like having like some communication with me and but I couldn't understand what all what all of it meant so I kept saying I don't know I'm, I'm really not ready for this like I don't, I don't understand what you're showing me like I just don't get it and then I was in this black room and there was these it was 3d like they were they weren't flat but they were like spinning pyramids and when you think of like a mirror effect, like mirrors just kind of like when you put a mirror to mirror, like how it just keeps going on and on, there were these pyramids and they just kept going on and on. And there was like smaller ones I just as I kept going down, but it was like below and above pyramids and they just rose them and they just kept going all the way down. And they were like, had this like blue like light to them and they just like were spinning and going. And I was like, whoa, what is this? And they were like portals, to like different uh places so one of them that i walked through um i was this like indian woman and it was beautiful like outside and everything and then i had this like it was like a basket for like your back and there was like, a little boy in the basket and i kept saying oh my, my baby boy my, my little baby boy and and he wasn't like moving, he was just like, just there, like dead and just stiff. And I started crying, and I felt like this was like my child and everything. Yeah? Good, just making a video. No, a video. Nah, serious video. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be out soon. Okay, so and there's this like, little boy, so I'm crying, and I'm like in, in the river, you know, and 
I'm crying over there, let, letting them go. So I was like letting them go in the river. And um, I want to say like he kind of like rose to like the sky. Like I saw like his like spirit just like, you know, just going like toward the sky and everything. And um, together, like I started realizing I was going back into my body and I was crying and I was like, I can't be with you right now. And it was just like this really like tear jerk, you know, just like like mother and son and it's so weird I don't have any kids I always say I don't want kids like I'm just like so anti kids and I'm the only thing I can guess is like it was like one of these past life where I like lost a child or something so because like I, I felt like mother's heart heartbreak like I never like really understood what it feels like to be like that but after that experience, like, I felt what it was like to lose someone who's, like, really a part of you, and I just recall it was so, like, I was so fucking sad and crying, and I woke out of it, you know, partying with my son, and, um, Jess was on one side of the bed, and Aaron was on the other, and they were, like, both, like, holding me as I woke out of it. And they were like, oh my god, like, you were going through something, and I was like, what? It's like, how did you guys know? And, like, here I am, like, tears down my face. I was like, oh my god. So they were holding me the entire time while I was going through this OBE experience, and it's funny because it was pure MDMA, like, there was no laced of LSD or anything of that nature in it. No one else had the experience. No one else was, everyone was just plain rolling, and I just happened to get into a medita meditative state during my roll, and that's what happened. It was, it was sad. It was, like, I've, I've been, like, sad before, but, like, that was, like, on a whole other level. Like, it just, like, made, like, your stomach turn and your heart, like, hurt. And I don't even know if this boy really exists, but after that, like, I think he does, like, and he's just somewhere out there or something, and as I was saying, we, we can't meet, I can't be with you right now, not in this lifetime. Be a while, I don't know. It was weird. Strangest experience I've had, probably, with an OPE. But I think it kind of taught me something about myself, something I didn't, you know, I never would have known, and that side of me, which is the weirdest. And poor Jess and I were like, we've never seen you cry. Like, we just had to, like, sit here and hold you, and we didn't want to wake you out of it, because we, we knew that you were going through something, like, in, you know, spiritually. I was like, thanks. So, and, you know, it just makes me think, like, wow, like, things like that like is it possible that we have different lives and different experiences and things about nature and well so anyway I thought I'd share that one too because that's one of my more interesting ones for sure without any of the crazy demonic stupid shit because <laughs> that's no fun but uh yeah, all my OBs are so serious. It's either like, like I said, the demonic stupid shit that's out to get me, or now sad stuff. Like, wow. But that's how you get to know your spiritual self and like who you were before and who you are now. And I think it's really important. That's why I spend a lot of time thinking about it and doing these things. Because it's not that I'd like to think that there's more. I know there is. So, anyway, sharing the experience. Peace, love, fuck.